I'm 680 News Senior Business Editor Mike Apple. The Canadian economy is coming off one of its best months for job creation on record. The August data in from StatsCan today pointed to 81,000 people finding work last month across the country. A lot of those were part-time, but overall, the economy has had a very solid performance over the past 12 months. Over 450,000 jobs added over the past year, the best since 2003. And it was Ontario and Quebec leading the way for job creation. 57,000 in Ontario, and Quebec now has the lowest unemployment rate in the land at 4.7%. Doug Porter is the chief economist with BMO Capital Markets, talking about how central Canada is leading the way for job creation. You know, the strength started with Ontario, and it, and it slowly ebbed as you moved to, uh, to both the coasts. The weakness that we saw was in, uh, was in British Columbia and, and PEI and Newfoundland. And meanwhile, uh, all the central Canadian provinces were, uh, were quite strong. Now, I would hasten to add that was just in this particular month. But even, even when we look at it on a year-over-year basis, Ontario has risen by uh, a whopping 3.5% in the past year, which is by far the, uh, the fastest growth that we see in the country. Now, these numbers just come days after the Bank of Canada said they would be data-dependent when it comes to setting interest rate policy. So a lot of economists are thinking now that the central bank will be on hold for the foreseeable future for moving interest rates. Contrast that to what we were hearing from the U.S. today and the thinking that the U.S. central bank might be cutting rates for a second time this year coming up in less than two weeks after the American economy added 130,000 jobs for August, which was a good number, but the numbers skewed a little bit by the census being taken during the month and the unemployment rate at 3.7%. It was the 107th consecutive month that the U.S. labor market added jobs, but showing a little slowing momentum on that front. And here's something to keep us occupied on a rainy day. The latest addition to the uh, fleet, shall we say, from Lego, one of its biggest models ever, the Star Destroyer from Star Wars. It's almost four feet long, 4,700 plus pieces, has a price when it goes on sale later this year, 699 bucks US. This isn't actually the largest in the Star Wars or, or Lego collection. That belongs to the Millennium Falcon, which came out a couple of years back, which has close to 8,000 pieces to put that gigantic ship together. And if you're missing one, well, you're out of luck. From the 680 Newsroom, I'm Mike Apple for City News.